Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting on a Budget. It's May here and I wanted to share with you guys a few things that I've created in the last couple days and I'm sorry that I don't have a tutorial for all these but I just figured you know these are some of the things that you guys can probably figure out on your own how to create and I just wanted to share with you guys what I've made without having to do a tutorial. Now for my little Halloween sign here I use this little Dollar Tree um, decor piece and I have to let you guys know that if you are going to be making this make sure that when you're removing the paper one you take a heat gun apply some heat and Dollar Tree has these these wonderful little scrapers sorry got a little tongue tied there scrape off some of the paper but when you do that you will notice that these are not adhered very well so the joints where they're joining together you will see becomes very flimsy and it comes apart so you're going to have to use either Fabri-Tac which I give it a thumbs up for wood and glass it passed the approval not only that it's great for paper so I use Fabri-Tac instead of wood glue and I just kind of went in and I attached the side pieces together to make it a lot more sturdier if you don't do that it might not last long so just in a as an FYI, before you buy, check your garage. I'm pretty sure your hobby might have a 2x4 or something that you can use for this project. Okay, so before you go out and buy these, make sure you're, you check your garage and see if you don't have anything. So I use some wood letters that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. I painted down after I removed the paper. I painted it with some Waverly black chalk ink. I distressed it just a little bit and I used my espresso, ice espresso from Deco Art and went around the edges. Then I took some Dollar Tree twine, wrapped it around three times, glued it to the back, and I proceeded by painting my wood letters, as you can see here, and I attached it to the piece. Hopefully this will last a couple years. If not, just as a warning, make sure you get better wood. My next one is solid wood from Hobby Lobby. I was actually amazed that I can get a pack of 12, um, actually, yeah, a pack of 12 for $4.99 and I use my 40% coupon. And these you can make little wood plaques, pumpkins, which these are little pumpkins. <laughs> um, Versus as buying them at Dollar Tree for a dollar because Dollar Tree has these for a dollar. But hello, I got a pack of 12 for $4.99 and I used my 40% coupon. Take advantage of your hubby or daughter or somebody that can stand in the other line with the coupon. So that way you can get a bang for your buck. So I got these for 40% off and I love the way it turned out. I actually used the Tim Holtz Halloween um, stencil for this one and some chalk paint distressed it with black chalk paint and then um, did that whitewash on it and took the sandpaper went around the edges and distressed it more I took some Dollar Tree raffia a button and a cork wine cork that I stained and voila I had myself a little pumpkin did the same thing here whitewashed it with black chalk paint some raffia twine a wine cork, a button, and I had myself a beautiful little sign. So I'm very pleased with that. And I do know that Young Sue gifted me this Halloween Tim Holtz stencil. This one I can't remember. I think I got it at Michael's a while back ago. I just don't remember the name. I just can't remember off the top of my head. And I'm not near where that stencil because I took it to the sink to wash it. The next thing is not something that I created myself. It is something that Cuban Curls came up with and I thought it was a cute idea so I have to give her um, you know props for doing this it's an awesome idea if you guys have a slinky that your kids may have tangled up which is this this is exactly what it was Brianna had a slinky she kind of tangled it up and so I said you know what we're making a little pumpkin out of it so Cuban girl Cuban curls she used a plastic Slinky from Dollar Tree. I don't like plastic. Y'all know how I feel about that. Let me get a little bit of coffee here. 
and I just don't like it. Not not a fan of plastics. Mmm, coffee is just so good. So since Brianna had it tangled, I was out it actually able if I can get my English out to cut it in certain spots to create three little pumpkins. So you snip it and you want to have like a 24 to 26 gauge wire. You want something no less than 24, that's for sure. But you're going to, once you snip it, you, got, you get two of the ends together, wrap it around, two ends together, and then take your wire and wrap it around. Now, I tend to think that you get a bang for your buck if you go to Joann's and get their wire there at the floral section. It's a lot cheaper. I think I paid like two something for like 30 yards of wire. So not a bad deal versus your Dollar Tree wire that you're only going to get like to think it's nine, nine yards or nine feet. Some, it's not a lot for a buck. So your best bet or your best way of making a bang for your buck is going to Joann's using your coupon if you have to. Um, and get your wire there. Now this is a Dollar Tree scarf. I wrapped it around doing my no sew tutorial. There's a tutorial on this. Put my rubber band, tied it with a twine, and snip snip distressed. And I made this beautiful little topper for my pumpkin and my wine cork that I stained with some of the wood stain. Okay, so I made three of them total, as you can see, and you can see where I snipped them and attached the pieces right there. See that? Okay. This one was a little, the, the smallest one was a little bit more wonkier. You want to push your flower in and then push your cork and put plenty of glue so that it kind of stays in, in shape. So this one was a lot little harder to manipulate, but you know, no one can really tell once you look at it. I think it's absolutely cute. Love it. So thank you Cuban Curls for the idea and the inspiration. The next project is I keep seeing these little date thingies. I don't know what they're called but I thought they were so cute. I wanted Brianna to be able to use this for Halloween. I am going to create another style for Christmas um, using the same somewhat of a same concept but just not as creepier as this one. So I use a Dollar Tree candlestick, painted it with my Waverly Black Chalk Paint, my Ice Espresso Metallic Rub, and I use these little wood pieces from Dollar Tree. And basically what you're going to do is I use Fabri-Tac. You're going to attach 12 pieces to the bottom and 12 pieces for the back of, it's a couch. If you can't, you guys can't tell, it's supposed to be a creepy couch, okay? So you're going to do 12 for the bottom and 12 for the side back piece, okay? And then the back goes, of course, pushed against like that. And then you're going to use six that flushes for the side pieces. So there's three here and three here, 12 at the bottom, 12 at the side back but there's also two decorative pieces here to give it a nice little decorative piece. I use this little Prima mold that I cr made a couple years ago with my Prima molds that I had and I had a whole box of some of them left over. I used one of those and this is with a uh, paper clay that I made this one. Attached to the back to give it some look and sex appeal there or whatever you want to call it. Not, probably not sex appeal. Maybe that's not the right word. <laughs> but give it some beauty. I also use for my paper some Martha Stewart Halloween paper that I purchased at Amazon when they had one of those deals of the day. And I got this for 99 cents. So this is what I used um, for it. There's a... I thought it was perfect for the couch. And it's a 6 by 6 I'm not sure how much they are now, to be honest. So basically, I glued them, made my couch, let it dry, painted it with some black chalk paint, went through with my um, metallic rub, and voila, I had a beautiful little place for my calendar blocks. And the calendar blocks I purchased at Hobby Lobby, pack of four for $3.99 again. 
have your hubby or somebody stand in one line while you're standing in the other line and you're both utilizing your 40% coupon and I probably shouldn't say that on video but you know we have to save money wherever we can and definitely when you're on a budget you have to try to figure out a way or figure out a plan so I took again some of the paper from this collection I cut it to size glued it on with my fabric tack sanded it down on the edges with an emery board, took my Deco Art Metallic Ice Espresso, went around the edges, and I have beautiful little blocks. And once I get some numbers, I will glue on my numbers and we'll have a little calendar block thing for Halloween that Brianna can start her, her little Halloween countdown for Halloween so I think that was stinking cute and I loved how it all turned out so that is just an idea and here's some of those little I'm working on some of those little wood unpainted blocks that I purchased at uh, Hobby Lobby but these are some of the projects that I'm working on I hope that inspired you guys to try to think outside the box try to create something beautiful for your home for this holidays that are coming up and approaching and if you have any questions, you guys know where to find me. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye. God bless.